you never get used to the music that the New World Order comes out to. And representing the black and white, one of the most unpleasant men I've ever encountered in Big Scott Norton. You're right, even after, what is it, three years of hearing that music, I still have a tendency to look over my shoulder. Yeah. You never know where and when the New World Order will attack. And this is Big Scott Flash Norton, who certainly, if you ask him, will tell you that he's the boss of the NWO Black and White. Of course. And if you ask Stevie Ray, he'll say he's the boss. You ask Brian Adams, Forrest, Vincent, you get five different answers from five different guys. Look at that, he has our official, our referee Billy Silverman, backpedaling even before the open bell. Well, do you blame him? Wouldn't you backpedal from Scott Norton? I don't want to be in the ring with Scott Norton at all. Well, that's a good point. Neither do I, for that matter. For the opponent, for Scott Norton, our first look at Jason Anderson. Jason Anderson making his WCW debut. And you know, if, if you were going to make your debut for World Championship Wrestling, I could think of some other wrestlers that I would be interested in facing other than Scott Norton. Exactly. Take a good look at Jason Anderson. This may be the last time you see him. In one piece. Or without a whole bunch of bruises and bandages and cast on him. Scott Norton, side headlock on Anderson. Shoots Norton off. Whoa, shoulder block from Norton. Did you see? Anderson's a big guy. Did you see? How quickly he went down from the shoulder block. Oh, good job. Sets up this young kid, Jason Anderson, in the corner and just dropped him with two knife edge chops to the chest. Right now, Jason Anderson is thinking, well, I've still got my application in at Denny's. Arm ringer now on Scott Norton. Look at Norton. He's laughing. He is laughing at the offense from Anderson. Shoots him across into the ropes. Whoa! Big power slam. Tossed him with ease. You're right, he lifted a man who's about 245, 250 pounds with very little effort and slammed him down to the canvas. Not an ounce of fat on the person of Scott Norton. But Anderson, out of the way of the elbow. Forearm to Norton. Is that having any effect? No. Reversal. Anderson into the ropes. Oh, shoulder high. Ooh. Dropped him right on his hip. Out of the fireman's carry, Scott Norton hits the fall away slam. And it's just a matter of time at this point. Already motioning to the crowd that he's preparing for the power bomb. Norton must have reservations at a Chinese restaurant or something. He wants out of here quickly. Look at that chop on Anderson, just level. Anderson's barely moving. In a seated position, just barely. It's only because he landed that way. While Scott Norton circles his opponent, sets him up and catches him with that double cross chop, that Mongolian chop right into the throat. The Mongolian chop. Yes, originally made famous by El Mongol. You remember him. I certainly do. Oh, look at that. Throttling Anderson over that top two cable. Oh, snaps him back into the ring. Whiplash effect that time from Scott Norton. The throat of young Mr. Anderson across the top turn, but sent him back and ducked the clothesline. Maybe there's life left, drop kick. Oh, look at that. No, oh, that one connected, and it still didn't affect Norton. Oh, the clothesline did. Now that one connected. Clothesline him right out of his shorts. Here we go. Got a gut wrench all the way up. Out of the power bomb. What impact. What power from Scott Black Norton. Whoa. Well, this one was never in question. Wire to wire from the opening bell. Total domination from Big Scott. As much as I hate to do it for the family of Jason Anderson, let's go back and take a look in our Wendy's Big Slam of the Show. Wendy's Big Slam of the Show brought to you by Wendy's Big Hot and Juicy Triple. You want fiber? Eat a sweater. Meanwhile, Scott Norton just ate up young Jason Anderson, including this move, the fall-away slam out of the fireman's carry. And it was the power bomb that finished him off was the big slam, and Scott Norton was the big winner on Worldwide. If he wants to be the leader of the black and white, he can be. For Mike today, I'm Scott Hudson. Let's send it back to Tony and Larry. Thanks a lot for the call of the double main event this week on WCW Worldwide, guys. Living legend this Sunday, Spring Stampede. Very interesting that 
The World Tag Team Champions are Rey Mysterio and Kidman, and they will wrestle each other for the Cruiserweight belt this Sunday. I don't think that's ever happened in pro wrestling before. Well, if one of these guys, I mean, you're going to have two belts on one guy. The belts are going to be bigger than the, uh, than the champion for one time in history. But I tell you, there's a lot of pressure on the Wolf Pack. Sting sided. What is Sting going to do? And that's what's going to be running through the mind of everybody at Spring Stampede. Do you think the fact that Sting did not wear the red face paint tells us that he is no longer a member of the Wolf Pack? Yeah, I think it's a definite sign without saying one word that the Wolf Pack has a new enemy. Where will Sting show up next, fans? Will it be Spring Stampede this Sunday? We'll find out. And we'll see you next week right here on WCW Worldwide Wrestling.